Magandang araw muli sa inyong lahat. Naririto na naman tayo para mapanood ang balitang nagaganap sa ating kapaligiran. Ang graduation ng mga bagong first lieutenant ng Philippine Army. Atin pong panurin. Personal na binati ni Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. ang mga nagtapos na officers ng Philippine Army Officer Candidate Course ngayong araw, ikapito ng Hulyo. Sa graduation ceremony, hinimok ng Pangulo ang 106 na bagong tenyente na isabuhay ang kanilang class name na Gigmat at manatiling mapagmatsyag sa pagsiguro ng kapayapaan sa bansa. Binigyang diin niya ang kahalagahan ng mga katangian gaya ng dangal, integridad at syaga sa pamumuno. Tiniyak din ni PBBM ang patuloy na pagtaguyod sa kapakanan at kakayahan ng Philippine Army sa pamamagitan ng modernong kagamitan, retooling, at retraining, kalakip ng prioridad ng administrasyon na pagtibayin ang sandatahang lakas ng bansa. Sa nasabing pagdiriwang may kapansin-pansing awkward moment si Pangulong Marcos sa isang batang opisyal na nagtapos dahil kaapilido niya ito at may pagkahawig pa sa kanya. Panuuri ng full video ng kaganapan at buong detalye ng talumpati ni PBBM. Probationary 2nd Lieutenant, Mariel Andrea S. Marcos, Carlos. Probationary 2nd Lieutenant, Thank you very much to His Excellency. Ladies and gentlemen, another round of applause for the graduates and awardees. You may now be seated, sirs. The graduates are requested to stand as we move on with your induction as members of the AFP Officer Candidate School Alumni Association Incorporated. May we have on stage the chairperson of the Alumni Association, Brigadier General Vincent B. Incognito, Philippine Air Force, to administer the oath thank you. I state your name, though hereby solemnly swear that I will faithfully discharge to the best of my knowledge and ability the duties and obligations as member of the Officer Candidate School Alumni Association Incorporated. that I will uphold its constitution, support its bylaws, as well as the rules and regulations promulgated thereof. To all these, I do most solemnly swear, with a steady purpose to perform the same, without mental reservation. So help me God. Congratulations. Thank you to the chairperson of the AFP OCS Alumni Association. Please be seated. Let us now hear the valedictory address of probationary second lieutenant Jun Lindon C. Zamora, class valedictorian. To our Commander-in-Chief, Armed Forces of the Philippines, His Excellency, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Minister, and to all distinguished guests, officers, NCOs, families, friends, loved ones, and especially to my classmates, the OCC Class 58 Gigmat, Nimbagal Dao Kadakayuamin. 
First and foremost, I would like to thank to our Creator, the Almighty God, for keeping us all safe and blessed for today's activity. It is my great honor to speak, to speak in front of you in this special event. Bago ko simulan ang aking talumpati, ako'y may kaunting pakiusap lamang sa aking mga classmates. Malumingon kayo sa inyong likuran at bigkasin ang katagang ma pa salamat To my family, especially to my parents who are present today, Ma, Pa, Salamat. Salamat sa walang sawang pagsuporta mula pagkabata hanggang sa kami ay makapagtapos ng kolehiyo. Sa aking pag-apply hanggang sa pakapasok at ngayon ay magtatapos bilang officer candidate ng officer candidate school at magiging isang magiging natinyente. Salamat dahil mas pinili ninyo na magtrabaho sa malayong lugar upang matustusan ang aming pag-aaral. Ngayon naman mga bok, tapikin ang inyong mga katabi at sabihin, bok, parang ako sa'yo bok. Given the privilege to speak before you, let me share my story. I graduated Bachelor of Science in Criminology at Ordeneta City University in June 2019. I am also a graduate of the Reserve Officer Training Course at Pangasinan State University, Ordeneta Unit. Also, a graduate of Revisionary Officer Training Board at Reserve Command Philippine Army, which gave me an upper edge to pursue my career in the Philippine Army. I passed the Criminologist Licensure Examination on 08 January 2020. While waiting for the results, I worked as a butcher and crew in a Korean restaurant to save money and support my application in the Philippine Army. However, my salary is not enough to sustain my needs. Hence, I work as a watchman in a construction site in Indy City at San Manuel, Pangasinan. During those days, my parents advised me to apply to the Philippine National Police. But unfortunately, I was not admitted. However, I do believe that everything happens for a reason. I believe that God has a better plan for me. So it became my motivation that better things will soon be coming. Sabi nga nila, if one door closes, another door will open. On June 2021, the Army started accepting application for provisionary officer training course. So I immediately prepared the officer the requirements of myself. Luckily, I passed the phases of recruitment and became a member of POTC Matiglawin last week in August 2022. After hurting the four months of rigid training, I knew that I am ready for our new challenges to become future leader in the Philippine Army. True enough that applying for the officer officership has been a challenging yet worthwhile experience. Most of my classmates were civilians before entering the officer candidate school, knowing that efforts needed to transform the civilian life into a disciplined military life. I observed the eagerness of my classmates during our dumb shift. Just by waking up early in the morning for our morning calisthenics, eating together doing a bridge position in what we call mess hell, while being surrounded by the seniors scrutinizing eyes of our seniors and making us do this office, and undergoing strenuous physical exercises after each mess. All of it was never easy. But those experiences have molded us to be the best leaders of the Philippine Army. After almost a year of rigid training, I believe that the Igmat is now ready to render service in our country. We are a set of leaders who are equipped with knowledge and skills and are capable of leading our subordinates. To my book, classmates, the OCC Class 58, my brothers and sisters by heart, congratulations sa ating lahat, sa ating pagtatapos bilang officer candidates. Ako ay taos pusong nagpapasalamat sa ilang buwang pagsasama natin sa hirap, saya, kalokohan, kamaruan, at kamalasan. Marami na tayong pinagdaanan. Gawin natin itong pundasyon sa ating hinaharap. Ipakita natin ang ehemplo ng tunay na makabayan at serbisyo para sa sambayan ng Pilipino. And lastly, on behalf of the Officer Candidate Course Gigmat Class 58-2023, 
we would like to express our greatest appreciation and gratitude to all officers and NCOs and other personnel headed by Colonel Cabuno, sir. We would not be able to come this far without your guidance and support to our Commander-in-Chief, His Excellency, President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Sir. Sir, rest assured that we will render service excellent and remain loyal to our country. Again, to everyone present today, Agyamanak Kinembag Aldao, Pinyatayo Amin. Thank you to the class valedictorian, probationary second lieutenant, June C. Zamora. May we now call on Secretary Gilberto C. Chidora Jr., Secretary, Department of National Defense, for the introduction of our guest of honor and speaker. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of our Republic and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr. Thank you very much to our uh, uh, DND uh, Secretary, Secretary uh, Gilbert uh, Tudoro Jr. Please take your seat. The uh, Special Assistant uh, to the President, uh, Secretary Anton Lagdameo. The Armed Forces uh, of the Philippines Chief of Staff, General Andy Centino. Philippine Army Commanding General, Lieutenant General Romeo Browner Jr. The Philippine Army Officer Candidate Force Graduating Class of Graduating Class 58-2023 and of course, just as important, their proud parents who have joined us here this afternoon, my fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. I am one with the entire Filipino people as I congratulate the graduates of the Philippine Army Officer Candidate Course Kaigmat Class 58. Dash 2023. This occasion signifies the culmination of your hard work, your dedication, your sacrifice, and overcoming the challenges of becoming an Army officer. While well, this graduation ceremony marks the end of this chapter in your training, your journey does not end here. An even bigger challenge awaits you as you start to assume leadership roles in our Army. This is aptly captured in your class name, Gaigmat, a word that means being watchful of everything at all times, which underscores the vigilance required given our complex and evolving security environment. Indeed, as members of the Gaigmat class, you are called to become sentinels of the nation's army and symbols of illumination who will serve as guides and exemplars of excellence amongst our troops. As you step into the ranks, of commissioned officers of the Philippine Army. Remember, leadership does not emanate from titles or positions alone. More importantly, leadership stems from being able to demonstrate initiative, flexibility amid uncertainty, to show resilience and tenacity under pressure, to instill amongst yourselves and others hope, courage, and unity, even in the most difficult of circumstances. The rigid nature of your training has forged you into formidable warriors, embodying the core principles of honor, integrity, and service, while continuing to show resilience and adaptability, rousing greatness in all who follow you. As you ascend to the ranks of second lieutenants of the Philippine Army, hold firm to the ideals that have led you to this pivotal moment. Lead by example, command with respect, execute with excellence as you confront the challenges ahead. Let patriotism permeate every fiber of your being, empowering you to navigate the complexities of the field with heightened awareness and true mastery of your craft. Be assured, the government's dedication to your advancement and welfare goes beyond providing modern equipment alone. 
we continue to prioritize retooling and retraining to arm you with intellectual fortitude, with tactical prowess, and strategic acumen to thrive on the modern battlefield. I invite you to join me and this administration in building a better, safer, and more secure nation for all Filipinos in the years to come. Congratulations once again to all the graduates on this exceptional achievement that we commemorate today. Manalig tayo at patuloy na mangarap, gaidmat. Maraming salamat at mabuhay kayong lahat. Thank you, Mr. President. Well, in grateful appreciation to our guest of honor and speaker, the Commanding General will be presenting the Capiz plaque as memento to His Excellency. Well, the plaque signifies the importance of the presence of His Excellency on this momentous occasion. Please remain standing for the singing of the OCS hymn. 